大家好，这一节我们讲一下 EMC 实验这个前期这个设计评审的那个内容，就是 EMC 实验是实验，但是作为 EMC 认证工程师，他在实验开始前，实际上就要保证对这个从设计时候就要对这个供应商的相关电子器件的，他的在 EMC 防护的测试方式 PCB 板。这个布局形式就要考虑它的防护的措施，然后再进行实验。就是说，在早期的开发，其实有一些简易的实验手段，还有一些虚拟计算的一个方法，另外还有相关的文件的一个评估，这样才能保证 EMC 在后期实验的时候不会出现重大的失误，因为我们都清楚。一旦在开发的后期 ，EMC 实验失效，其实改起来非常困难，成本也会很高。今天我们还是用英语，通过这个英语来增加关于工程上的一些专用词汇。OK。At the first, we want to talk about the objective of a detailed design review. Include, but、uh, not limited to, as followed: the one before test, we should review the component or subsystem schematic design and the circuit board layout. This is basic requirement for the supply. And then, I second with the identification of the fundamental operating frequency. For example, clock reads, switch frequency, and other potential coherent EMC source. This step is very important. You know, we should find. Potential coherent EMC sources. Sources. EMC design review. The second is fundamental. The three. The exam. Exam any prior relevant analysis, circulation as calculation and test result. It's very important, you know. Now the analysis software develops so quickly. There is a lot of good software in the software market. We can use the software to analysis, or also sometimes need a calculation for the. Uh, prior the project, and also can see the before the test result. You know, the component the new design not is completely new. It also developed from the old one. So when you design review, I think you should. See the design for the old project, and get the information from the old project, and get the information from the test results. It's very useful for the new one. Another is evaluate evaluate potential changes to the component subsystem design. It's the same. The upper the one. Any the parts, not is complete new. Everything, the new design from the old one. So we also know that 
evaluate the potential change to the component subsystem design. Propose solution to problems and appropriate revalidation. This means we should ask the supplier give some of the proposed solution to the problem and appropriate revalidation. You know, in the engineering, there is a lot of the problem. Every time, as an engineer, we should propose some solution to problem. And then we also have appropriate revalidation. So when we review the EMP design, and we will find some lot of the problem, and the supplier will propose the solution to the problem. And we also consider the revalidation. Last one is verify that the proposal design and uh, circuit board layout satisfy the evaluation requirement. It's uh, for EMC design review. Generally speaking, the EMC design review, the team should include the member, maybe EMC engineer, and the design engineer, validation engineer. For the supplier, they also need a hardware design, hardware release engineer, resident engineer for parts, EMC engineer, and EMC specialist and project system responsible engineer. All the people work together for the EMG design review. Another is a important step is a supply del deliverables document required to be delivered as a one package to vehicle manufacturer EMC design review team at least 10 working, working days ahead of a schedule meeting. First one, PCB layout. Component list, hardware scam, schematic drawing, component placement drawing, functional description, interface, inter, interface description, EMC mass simulation result. But you know, for the, the good supplier, maybe they have a lot of the software and uh, mass um, simulation software, but not everyone have this kind of uh, mass simulation result. Uh, another is initial EMC test report. From this part or similar parts, even if development, I think this is very important. Just as before, we talked about that. No complete new, the, as new from the old one. So when we talk about a test plan, I think we should consider the similar parts, even the similar parts in development process. We can refer to this part the EMC test report. Another step is actual hardware samples of physical mock-up for 
video examination is desirable but not required. Electronic document must be in editable format compatible with Micro Office. EMC filter design and performance characterization data for proposal input output filtering. Clock circuits bypassing and decoupling. This is a very important step. We should pay more attention to it. Identification of fundamental operating frequencies. For example, clock reads, switch frequency, and other potential coherent EMC sources. Last one, the output of waveforms for all paused pulse wireless modulate PWM or switching power power supply supply output indicating the slew slew rates for both voltage and current. Okay, that's for all today.